another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work and your health and strength is good. What? And to you Steam Deck fans, Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck Mob, and to the Steam Deck Squad. What's up with it? <laughs> I know y'all was sitting there like, quit playing with us, man. We don't care about that other nonsense you're talking about. We want news on our Steam Decks. All right, I got something for you. But, but here's the thing, though. Sometimes I do a video just to get myself all warmed up. Before before I start really getting into this, and I was searching the web for uh, articles on the Steam Deck, I found one. So here we go. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Look, talking about the Steam Deck competitors here. A and E says here, this tiny Steam Deck rival is just the right size for a handheld gaming PC. A and E O is taking pre-orders on a super light and thing handheld gaming PC with Barcia Low Ryzen 7 CPU. Shows a picture of the A and Neo in the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck screen is like this, but then the A, the a and Neo drops down like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, transition. But anyway, says here, A and Neo makers of what feels like a dozen gaming PC ran seven hours live stream last week, detailed the production progress of its airline of handheld Windows gaming PC. Spotted by hot, hot hardware, the Air and the Air Pro are super lightweight and thin handheld gaming PC with OLED display. The Steam, the stream looks at the final version of the Air Pro and how significantly smaller it is than a Nintendo Switch and Steam Deck. But they say big things come in small packages. All right. says, we also got to see what's powering the more expensive Air Pro Ryzen 7 5825U processor, which is more powerful version of a similar CPU with higher clock speed than in other models of the Air that are available for pre-orders. Got it? All right. <laughs> so while the Steam Deck AMD Zen 2 Van Gogh CPU still run laps around the ANEO least powerful line of handhelds, you can still reportedly run games like Elden Ring, God of War, and even Red Dead Redemption 2 at 30 frames per second on low settings at 720p, which is a claim I love to put to the test. Hmm. The Air series has potential as a retro gaming and emulation system and is definitely prioritizing portability over over the raw power uh, need to run current AAA games as well as the Steam Deck since it's a Windows device you'll be able to easily access your games on Steam the Epic Game Store and the Xbox app Here, here's hoping things get Steam support from Valve like another Steam Deck competitor is getting. Remember Valve reached out to reach out and um was offering Steam OS, you know, so yeah. It says here the Air and the Air Pro most significantly selling point is their size and design. Both models are small overall than the Steam Deck and Nintendo Switch OLED. The Air looks like a Switch light at glance, even down to the button layout. And it says here, uh, the, the expect shipping window for the ANEO Air Pro starts in August, but you can pre-order it on ANEO Indigo starting at 571. Hmm. The model with the most powerful Ryzen CPU will be due out in September, costing $969. Hmm. So that means you could get any... With a 969, that means you can get any Steam Deck model, a solid, a couple, a couple SD cards, and some games. Food for thought. And that's the end of the article. So, uh, 571, 9, 969. Well, if the um, A Neo light fits your needs, then it's for you. If not, there's there's the Pro, but then there's the One X Mini player. There's the Switch, and of course there's the Steam Deck that really put handheld, uh, took handheld gaming to the next level. So, 
the A and Neo uh, light. You know, you're going from a you're going from a Steam Deck that's probably, screens probably like this, but now you're gonna drop down to about this. So, uh, big difference. So, if screen size is a thing for you, then the A and Neo light is not for you. Um, you, I mean, you can always try the Pro if you got the funds for the Pro. Okay, go for it. You know. And then you probably want to match it up against the Steam Deck and see what you're getting, you know. And um, match it uh, CPU for and RAM, and the RAM is important, you know. You know, and when it, when it all said and done, because the Steam Deck is using the latest. You know, everybody else might be using DDR4. The Steam Deck is using DDR5. So yeah. But other than that, the uh, A and Neo Lite. If it, if, it, if it fits your needs, then it's for you. If not. You, all, you, you always got other choices out there. You know, there's a One X Mini Player. There's a Switch. Steam Deck. Um, and then there's a uh, Pro for uh, a &E So pick one. But, the, but these are all good good portable uh, portable gaming handheld. You know, it's good. I mean, it's gonna come down to your hand size, what your hands can handle, what you can handle visually. And it's gonna come down to like, okay, you know, um, who has the, you know, who has the, who have all the goods, you know, so to speak. You know? Talking about operating system wise, you know, features and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what it's gonna come down to. But other than that, portable game, portable, portable gaming. Yeah, yeah. These these look these 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 little handhelds is no joke. You know? I mean the Pro, the One X Mini Player, and the Steam Deck—they're they're no joke. They're, they're, they're packing some they're packing some horsepower. But but you know the, but but that is to run these games that are coming out because video games are so are so high demand so demanding. You know. And, um, yeah, they, they're, they're um, you, I mean there's plenty of YouTube videos out there to to explain you know you know w what separates one from the other you know so yeah. Other than that, there's a lot of portables to choose from. Pick one. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. And, and again, you Steam Deck fans, I know I know y'all, every time you, when y'all come to my channel, y'all looking for some news on the Steam Deck. But I always do a video to get me warmed up so I can really get into what, what I need to get into. But, but, you know, I will always keep you guys posted. That means if I see, a, if I see an article at night, whether it's nine o'clock at night, ten o'clock, or eleven o'clock, if I see it, I'm on it. And then when you, then when you, when you wake up, then you might be like, oh, he got it done. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, I'm gonna leave this video uh, for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again, Chris. Still a Star Wars, a Star Trek thing, or Dark Side. Um, come, on. peace.